so I'm just gonna cut to the chase. I am LDS and I have done some things in my life that haven't been the social norm in my community that I've worked towards overcoming and have really impacted my life. Something that I don't feel like is talked about very often is pornography. And especially among the young women of, of the world, because there tends to be kind of an extra shame attached to that because it's usually just associated to, to men. But when I was 16 years old, I was curious and I was lonely and it was in a time where there were many transitions in my life. My parents had just got divorced. Um, I was a teenage girl. My mom was working. Not that this is her fault, but I ended up looking at pornography and it lasted for about a month. And it was something that turned into me getting caught by my mom because she wanted to protect whoever was looking at this stuff on her computer. And so she sat us all down and we had this interrogation and turns out it was me. Sweet little Emma, it was me. And I think about all the time how, even though that was only a few weeks, it really had a, has had a major and lasting impact on my life to have had that happen to me. Um, I was very young and curious and hormones were raging and just, I think that I stepped into something that was was harmful on my mind and it actually has had a tremendous impact on my brain. I've struggled with eating disorders for many years, more than a decade, clear into my marriage unfortunately, and have gone through behaviors and my family has gone through behaviors dealing with this eating disorder that is actually directly connected to me needing to, to understand my true identity. And I think that seeing sex in that way distorted my thinking about healthy relationships. And it was the cherry on top of unhealthy relationships that I had already witnessed and been a part of. And so it kind of turned into um, something that spiraled out of control for me. And it has been a challenge for me ever since to, to know who I am and to understand that even though that happened and I was the one that, it was at my own hand, like I was the one that looked it up, my worth in God's eyes has never changed. And I think going back to that moment of being found out by my mom, of course, there was shame and I felt very guilty and the way my mom responded was very afraid. There was fear because especially in the LDS community, you, you are encouraged to stay away from certain things and pornography is, is one of them. And sometimes there's a stigma attached to that. And so when that happened, 
I think she was floored that it happened to me, of all people. And so, what I want to, to get across today is that that did. It happened. It's a part of my story. And I've struggled with some things that have led up from it. And, but I've learned a lot. I've learned a great deal. And as I'm a mom now, I'm realizing and understanding how important it is to, to approach these types of scenarios with love and compassion and not fear because that was an experience that I had. It wasn't something that defines who I am. It doesn't alter me. It doesn't change. It doesn't change my um, spirit and my divine worth at all. I, I'm realizing more and more that my worth isn't dependent on my appearance or my mistakes or my flaws or my shortcomings. I'm whole already. And every single one of you are whole despite your mistakes, flaws, shortcomings, past, and circumstances. But with that said, I do believe in a God that wants us to be genuinely and authentically happy and peaceful. And in so doing, there are steps that need to be taken and goals that need to be made so you can reach that point. And so if you're going through something similar and you're not able to talk to anybody about it, I just want you to remember that whatever you've done, whatever you're going through that perhaps you are afraid to talk about, it does not alter your worth ever. Maybe it's something you need to work on and it's something that need to overcome in time, but it does not alter your worth. And so trying to fix it to prove your worth is wasting your energy and time. <laughs>